Good afternoon, everyone. So I'm from Cape Town Wireless, CNW Business. I'm the senior director for business, um, representing large enterprise and government across the region. And because I'm Jamaican, I have a special love and focus on Jamaica. I cover large enterprise and government for the region. Um, in specific, specific for Jamaica, I focus on how it is that we engage, how it is that we enable, and how it is that we partner. So partnership is big for me and my team. Uh, we focus on the business development, so I'm not a sales function or a technical function. I'm an enablement function. And what I do for the Caribbean is exactly what we do as well, um, in particular for Jamaica. Jamaica is actually our pilot. It's been our pilot for five years. I shouldn't say pilot anymore, it's our focus. And, and how it is that we drive. So what industry are we talking about? What industry am I from? I said Cabron Wireless, so can anyone guess what's my industry? Telecommunications, next slide. Let's see who got it right. Cable and wireless, right? Is that where I'm up? Cable? That's the communication, right? But that was a long time ago. For those who don't know, right, the first cables to Jamaica actually came from Cable and Wireless. I think back in the late 1800s. If you've ever done the Blue Mountain hike, when you get to um, the, the hostel before the last stretch of Jacob's Ladder, if you go around the back of the hostel, you see two graves, and the epitaphs are actually one of the engineers, the first engineers to Jamaica, and his wife, who settled here. So that's how long we've been running cables. Um, but that's not how we are today. Cables have changed. Technology has changed, right? So it's not just the cables anymore. It's the cloud. It's AI. It's the devices you use. It's what keeps us connected today. Gone are the days when you could leave work with a briefcase in hand, and no one can call you because the papers are at the office, and so you can't catch up, right? It's connected. So we've changed, which means we're actually the full, the full thing. We're actually ICT. So we're everything communications and technology. That's what we are. It is technology end-to-end -end and how we enable that technology and how you use it. From how you learn, to how you grow, to what you do when you get home. We stress you out at work. But the good news is, for social media, we relax you when you get home, or while you're at work, depending on what you're doing. Right? And so that's what we are. We are the end to end of ICT. But before coming here, I knew this. I wasn't quite sure, so I actually checked my AI. I have an AI that does, you know, like everyone else. Everyone uses ChatGPT. I'm not using ChatGPT. I use a few others. Um, but I asked, what do I do? And can you tell me what I do in a picture? And AI yeah, actually generated this picture for me. So I gave it all the stuff that Cable and Wireless does. I gave it the website and said, tell me who I am. And AI yeah, came back and confirmed what I already knew, but did it better in a better picture, I think, that we're everything there. ICT is the ideation. It is a part of innovation. It's a core of innovation today. It is, and we heard it earlier, the fourth industrial revolution, right? And so it is the core of what we do. It's what we are. It's how we connect. And that's the importance of who we are. The bigger part are the people right here who are playing a, a role in the background, it's service. So just the same way in which my slides aren't flowing, I've got people to rely on, and that's who telecommunications are, that's who ICT vendors are, that's what we do. We are a service to you. Initially, it wasn't a service. Initially, telecommunications was a convenience. But now, it's so essential that it is a service. And so we are in the service industry. So when we're recruiting, when we're looking out, what are we looking for? We're looking for the same quality people that we find in hospitality. We actually hire from there, in banking, in any other service industry. And so we are a service first. Technology actually comes second. When it comes to people, it's always service first. And that service is critical because we are supporting a diverse group of people around the world. Cable and Wireless, for me, we have operations from Canada all the way down to Chile, right? From Cayman to Trinidad. So it's a broad breadth and depth of people, wide variety of people. So when it comes to service, we have to serve our people, meet them where they are, with what they're doing, with the culture that matters to them in their language. And so it's people that matters first, because as we can see today, technology doesn't always run smoothly. And when it does it, you need people at the, at the core of it, right, to drive it through. So when we're recruiting again, that's what we look for, the people who can drive our customers. We realize that it's transforming how it is that we all engage and interact with, all, with each other, right? It's transforming lives. So again, in the past, 
when I want to see my grandma, it was about jumping in a car or taking, I'm old, taking a donkey cart back in the day, this is in country, all the way to a, a, a community called Spring Ground and see my grandma. Eventually I could call her and tell her I'm coming. And eventually I could just drive here myself. And eventually she could actually hear us on WhatsApp and video calls. It's connecting lives, it's transforming lives, it's changing communities, that's what we do. And so as we evolve, as technology evolves, our people also have to evolve. But let's look at this in the numbers, right? Let's see what this means. For us, the technology is at the core, the people are there, so how do we support that with people? And globally, if we look at some of the information we're seeing, and we actually have this data for Jamaica and across the Caribbean as well, we look at this every day, information is important to us. We're at eight billion. Back when I visited my grandma, we're at three billion. So in a short period of time, our population has exploded. In our generation, we've seen population explosion. This year alone, we'll see India overtake China as the largest populace, right? And it's growing, it's a connected world. And if we jump, we look and see, hey, year on year change, internet users, five billion. And almost all of them are on social media, connecting, changing lives. In the Caribbean, 68%, well, now close to 69, 70, are connected. They rely on that connectivity, on that technology. And so they use internet, be it fixed or mobile, in that important way. And they use it predominantly for social media. But they also use it for work, because who here has ever purchased something from an Instagram store? Anyone? And not been scammed, just purchased. <laughs> right? Social media is now integrated with the way we work, with how people do business, from small to large. And if you didn't know it before, for every individual who engages in, in a retail transaction, a small business benefits. And for every small business that benefits, a large business benefits. And that's the trend. PSOJ knows that all day, every day, right? We look at the indices and we say, hey, how is everyone communicating and collaborating? What's the ease of doing business for an individual? And you multiply that out to small business and large business. So when we look at who it is that they're connecting, how they're connecting, we can connect with us to say, hey, here's what we need to do. And we say, here's how many people and the type of people and where we need them to do what, based on who is engaged. And the interesting thing is, we see here on this slide and on the next slide, but on this slide you're gonna see that Jamaica's population hasn't increased much year on year since 2013. And I start with 2013 because um, that's really when communication, point to point communication, social media became a thing, right? But during that time as the population has remained flat, you see the engagement has increased even before the pandemic. Pre-pandemic, pre 2018, we had that big uplift. What happened around that? Can anyone guess? Generational change. It's not about the pandemic that's driving digital connectivity. The pandemic drove consumption, but number of persons connected was driven by generational change. We still had persons older in the society who weren't connecting as much, but we had new, younger people coming in, leveraging new technologies and learning. And it's happening again with Gen Z, right? So that's what we're looking at. And so it's changing lives. We know the generations, but it's creating gaps. And those gaps are things that we face every day. And we look at, when we look at how it is that we engage with our new employees, with our staff, it's the generational gaps that are the biggest importance to us. When I'm interviewing or when we're interviewing staff in the past, it was always a standard set of questions, right? For Tivet, this is like saying, regardless of which college you went to, regardless of what your vocation was, we're gonna ask you the same questions whether or not we hire you. And that's just wrong. So we have to change the way we evaluate. What we've been doing now is looking at how it is that we engage with the institutions, with the, with the tertiary institution in particular, to say, hey, tell us about your students before they graduate. Tell us about your curriculum before they graduate. Let us meet your third year, your fourth year, or your second year, third year, fourth year students. Let's engage. Give us a chance to speak. Give us a chance to listen so that when they leave school, when they come to us, yeah, we have a better understanding of where they are and we can interview them and engage them where they are, meet them and engage where they are. Cabram Wireless is the first and only ICT provider in the region to have a World Bank certified internship program. That is one sponsor by the World Bank. And we were able to do that because we changed the way we engaged. We had to get out. So if, I, if I'd ask for anything, it's for you to come to us as well. Tell us what you're doing. Tell us how you're teaching. Because we are not in the business of education. 
we're learning as we go. We have our own e-learning platform at the office, and we're less concerned about what technical skills. We're more concerned about what are the people coming in, who are they. So generation gaps matter. So we actually support all the different generations, and we teach and coach our staff to engage them where they are on their journey so we can meet them. The other thing we look at in terms of a gap is what are their learning methods beginning from yay high to yay high. So when in the past when we looked at resumes, it was leave out all that other stuff, all the fluff. And people still do, but when we get into the interview, we ask about that other stuff. What's your background? Where did you live? Where did you come from? What were some of your challenges? Tell us what shaped you to be here today, right? And so we get an understanding of what their learning gaps are. And the learning gaps we're focused on, again, is not technology. People are gonna to come to us, I kid you not, we get tons of resumes every month saying, I'm Cisco certified. We're like, good for you, but so is everybody else. So what makes you stand out? I've done this other certification in terms of network, you know, core, great for you, what makes you stand out? Tell me about your people skills. Tell me how you engaged as you grew up. Tell me about some of your challenges in school how you engage your teacher, how you were proactive in engaging, and that's part of the learning. Our own learning platforms take that into account. When we teach our own staff, we look at those personal skills and we teach them. So if another gap could be identified, it is, how can we understand your learning tools? What are you doing? So that we can bridge the gap, because personally, leaving school or any vocation to come into an office is like leaving high school to go to college. They don't prepare you for it. <laughs> And you hear a lot of, of, of employees come and say, hey, what I learned in school, this is nothing like it. Naturally, because those are technical vocations. And those can be taught, but that's not what we're looking for. The biggest thing that we look for is actually in our culture. At k West, we don't actually have a, a motto or a vision statement or anything like that. We just have values. So the biggest thing when, it's come, when, our, when an employee is coming in that we look for are their, their value, their own value statements. And it's led, it's led and supported 100% by empathy, right? There's trust, there's hard working, there are these core values, but when we evaluate, it is how much empathy do you have for yourself, for your colleague, for your family? How are you gonna engage? Why is this important? I said it earlier. We are a service industry. So when we engage with our customers, empathy comes first. It doesn't matter what technical skills you have. If your internet isn't, if your internet isn't working, and someone is telling you, well, the internet is fine, but your Wi-Fi is bad. You don't care whether it's internet or Wi-Fi or coverage. You just want it to work. So we have to empathize, meet our customers where they are, which means we meet our staff where they are so they can meet their customers where they are. So empathy first. How is that we know the relationships? And then focus on the basics. It's the little things. You're innovating. People think, I need to reinvent the wheel. I need to create this bigger, better thing. We're like, no. Look at my operations. Understand my business. Understand my customer first and innovate from there. The little things one step at a time. So the age old saying, how do you consume an elephant one bite at a time? That's where we're at. So that's it. For us, it's how you engage. It's the empathy, it's leading with that personal statement, understanding where our employees and recruits are on their journey and engaging. Thank you.